Hello, this is Dataji, and I am preaching the spiritual knowledge of Sri Data Swami. Science has developed tremendously, and faculty of logic improved a lot. People used to reject the existence of an unimaginable item. They refused God, who is unimaginable. But today in science, Heisenberg proves the existence of uncertainty or unimaginability owing to the limits of human capability. Today is the right time to introduce the unimaginable concept of God. Buddha kept silent about God because he did not like to introduce God through some unreal concepts. But this led to the misunderstanding of Buddha as an atheist. Sankara introduced God as almost unimaginable by representing God as awareness. Awareness is almost unimaginable to an ordinary person. Muhammad introduced God as power or energy. Awareness is energy only. Thus, there is no fundamental difference between these two incarnations. But a common man cannot imagine God through that concept. God is represented by the energetic form as Nevrayana, by Ramanuja or Divine Father in Heaven by Jesus. The awareness or the energetic form is charged by God and thus there is no lie even if it is considered as God just like the electrified wire is considered as current. But the entire awareness or energy or all the energetic forms are not charged by God. All the wires are not electrified. Angels who are servants of God are not God. Indra, an energetic form, was not God as proved by Krishna in Bhagavatam. The energetic form is imaginable but not perceivable. It appears only to the mind. It appears to the eyes also, but very rarely. Even if it appears to the eyes, the time of appearance is very short, and so it is not congenial for preaching the knowledge. Therefore, the materialized form is necessary. The human body is the best suitable form for such purpose. A statue or photo can be also perceivable, and God can charge it also. But such photo or statue cannot preach. It can preach also by the superpower of God, but it becomes quite unnatural. The unnatural means create tension and fear, which are not a good background or conducive for receiving the knowledge. Such form cannot mix with the humanity freely to preach the knowledge. Therefore, the concept of Krishna of human incarnation was more stressed by Madhva through Rama and Hanuman. Krishna, a human form, declared that he is God based on the electrified wire. The same concept of God in flesh was introduced by Jesus, who stated that he and his father are one and the same. Suppose you have started a school with first standard and you are not admitting anyone into the second standard from outside. Then you are teaching only to the first standard, though you are a postgraduate and can teach up to the tenth standard. To start the second standard in that year majority was not available. You will teach these same students next year in second standard in another full section. Meanwhile, if one or two students worthy of second standard approach, you will guide them personally. Same was the situation. Whenever the human incarnation came, it was dealing with the majority as a section, and the lesson pertaining to that standard was only taught. He taught a few devotees of high standard personally, but that was not carried on. Therefore, today you think that the preaching of God in the human form on that day was only the first standard. Today, majority is available due to the development of logical faculty, and so the high standard is opened as a section. Adugo, all adugo. Shri Guru Dattudu Moodu Mukhamula Aru Karamula Velugu Chunnadu Veda Vidithudu Dharma Devataya Dhenu Rupamuna Kukkalai Vedalu Koodi Naduvaga Adugo Alladugo Shri Guru Dattudu Paramapavanudu Vichayu Chunnadu Adugo Alladugo Shri Guru Dattudu